welcome to the project demonstration of design and implementation of cpic based mppt controller for solar voltaic system so here uh, the generated voltage from the solar panel is given through the uh, mppt converter so that is we are using uh, here the cpic converter so from the cpic converter we are going to uh, provide the output voltage to the load so we are using this dc battery as a load here so basically so as we know that cpic converter is mainly a single ended primary inductor converter here so it has a coupled inductor as well as coupler uh, coupled uh, capacitors two capacitors two inductors we are going to use in this one generally the main difference uh, between the uh, bug boost converter and cpic converter because cpic converter will act as a bug and boost converter same thing uh, like our generally uh, call as a bug boost converter so the main difference between this uh, normal uh, uh, bug boost converter and cpic uh, converter is like so it has the uh, like polarity based output voltage directly it will provide the positive output voltage uh, which is converted voltage and whereas the bug boost converter will provide, provide us the inverted voltage so the main difference is voltage uh, output voltage polarity and ripples and noise very less coming to the uh, it's a big converter as it has the inductive coupled inductor and coupled capacitor based and the efficiency also more in the uh, cpic converter and the control complexity is also is better in this one uh, cpic converter so mainly we are using these two inductors and two capacitors so where from where we are going to providing the input voltage of the source at this slots and uh, the voltage will be continuously measured by this arduino you know with the help of this voltage sensor so we need to connect these two pins one is at the solar slot so there we uh, place the solar over here and here also we have written the solar here so it will accept this pin in one direction only so place it properly and after that we can place this kit under the lighting either you can use the incandescent bulbs or sun lighting so in order to change the lighting we can place this incandescent bulbs so once we provide that the system continuously monitor the voltage from the solar panel so the main purpose of this mppt cpic converter is whenever a solar panel is providing the more voltage than the threshold value so generally the uh, we are using 12 volt 20 watt solar panel so which is rated voltage up to uh, 12 volts but so when we place this under the sunlight so it will get the maximum sunlight then it will provide the voltage up to 18 volts so in order to uh, compensate the current means so we are using 20 watt solar panel so when the voltage and current into 20 watts when the voltage is increases the current will be decreases in order to maintain the power so then if we reduce the voltage whenever the voltage is crosses the 14.5 volts then the system will provide the maximum current with maximum voltage so we will get the maximum power so to track that we need microcontroller that is arduino you know uh, the voltage is monitored through this voltage sensor and the output voltage of the cpi converter is getting from this voltage sensor so we are using 10 is to 1 resistors potential divider which will act as a voltage sensor here these two interface at the pin number a0 and a1 and our uh, mosfet cpi converter pin interface to the pin number 9 and uh, this is a battery pack which will act as a load here so the battery pack rating is 12 volt 2 amp so each battery pack consists of 3 volts uh, sorry 4 volt to uh, 3 batteries are in series so we will get 12 volts and these two are in parallel so we will get the 12 volts 2 amps of current and uh, here we can charge this battery through the normal domestic 230 volts also so whenever the sunlight is not available for demonstration purpose we provided this so this is not the general part of the project so just we are uh, providing this for safety purpose so whenever the sunlight is not available just connect the 230 volts into this so you can see the LED indication the battery is charging now so it will get fully charged in the duration of 4 to 5 hours from this transformer so if we place this uh, solar panel under the sunlight so uh, when the sunlight is fully available on the solar panel in the maximum conditions the battery will get fully charged in duration of 2 to 3 hours as we are using the 20 watts of solar panel and here we are using the 1 amp that is 12 volts of transformer we are using here so once the time completes you can just isolate the power supply to the transformer and this is the main on off switch to on the circuits so we kept this battery powered only uh, whenever we are testing this under the sunlight so now on this let us see the voltages here so is a reset switch so welcome message and then after the system will display the s voltage nothing but solar panel voltage 
and wo nothing but is a output voltage from this bug boost converter whenever the solar panel voltage is less than the 14.5 or 13.8 then the both are same only and whenever it increases above 14.5 then the duty cycle will changes to reduce the voltage so we can see the duty cycle over here output voltage here and solar panel voltage so let us place the lighting on the solar panel right now see we will uh, place this lighting one by one so let us place the one lighting on this so we can see the voltage is 2.59 is the solar panel voltage so let us place the number two right and the 3.6 so whenever the more lighting will be, if you use uh, 200 watts of incandescent bulbs, then we will get the more voltage here. And fourth one is, right, the grip is right, we can see the, the resistance is increase, decreases, the voltage also increases. Right, so if we uh, place this under the full sunlight, then we can observe this solar panel voltage and will be uh, more than this output voltage when it tosses the 14.5 volts and we can observe this duty cycle also Dr. Malata, right, you can see we can observe the duty cycle also we can see that the duty cycle is changes though it will changes but it don't affect the much on the output voltage so whenever it is uh, coming to the below 50% of the duty cycle then it will vary that output voltage which is coming out from this sepic converter directly and coming to the ratings so we are using the two same 200 micro henry of inductors and the two capacitors are 25 volts of uh, 2200 micro farad as a capacitor ratings two are same here two are same and coming to the mosfet is irf z44 we are using here so the main components to uh, develop this epic converter right